So today I want to talk a little bit about visual novels and the current setup I use. It's for me, I've tried a few, the fastest setup to create cards and also to read. Mostly this video will be for beginners, but I think some people, depending on what kind of setup you use, maybe you will find it useful as well. Uh, I'll try to keep it short. That's why I'll first just go over all the programs I use and what they do and show it to you a little bit. I'll create a card so that you can see how long it takes to create one. And if you already know uh, the whole setup, you can stop then at that point. And if you need any help for the rest, I'll go through as much as I can. I won't go over all the little details like how to install the different programs because that should be pretty easy. Just if there are any settings that we have to go over that are maybe not that, that easy to figure out. So otherwise the rest will come later. So first I'll go over everything. I just opened Muramasa. I already played a lot of hours and I still have a lot of in front of me, I think. Um, yeah, so, so this is the visual novel, whatever you are currently reading. And then below it, we have ITH. That's the software that basically captures the text that is currently on screen in the visual novel and copies it to your clipboard. This one is pretty useful. It's easy to use and I'll show you later on. Otherwise, I have on the, my main screen ShareX. Matt presented this a while back in the video. I'm not too sure if it's still listed. I think it's gone right now. But what this one basically does, it has two functions, or it has a lot of functions, but two I use most of the time is sound recording and capturing the screen. So basically just, just a screenshot. You could theoretically do it with the built-in one from Microsoft, but I don't know if you can add any shortcuts and so on. With this one, it's pretty easy. Um, the audio recording, for at least for visual novels, I don't use it as much because for whatever reason the audio is extremely low. So if you capture the audio from a visual novel and you put it on, on your cards, you can hear that it is there, but the volume is too low so you can't really make out the sounds and in the end I just skip it. It's not worth it. Theoretically you could uh, use something like Audacity or so to fix it but I think it takes more time than it's worth it, so I'll, I just skip this step and only use the screenshot. So that's all we have on the main screen. Then we will go over to the second screen. On the second screen we have the main attraction, so to speak, and that's Yumi-chan. A lot of you will probably already have this one installed, but maybe at least I only recently found out about it. The easiest way to use it for uh, reading visual novels. There is, There are two options you can use to read visual novels and make looking up words really really fast with Yomi-chan. Normally the basic usage of Yomi-chan is that you use it in a browser and you can hover over a word and get a definition in a small little window. But this one is a little bit different. There is a new option in uh, Yomi-chan, or it has been for a while, where whenever you copy something it automatically gives you a pop-up and this pop-up shows you what you've copied and gives you the definitions. Just looks similar to this, but it's in a separate window. Um, so it gives you also gives you the reading. And you can just, same in this window, you can just click on the words you want to look up and it automatically switches. And you can go back, click on the next one and so on and so forth. The reason why I use this and not the extra window is pretty easy because uh, will, when you use the extra window, whenever the window updates, you will get a message down here, and at least for me, and it starts blink, uh, blinking in orange, and that's pretty annoying. And you don't have it if you use this one, this version. It's You also don't have to fiddle around with the settings all the time, because sometimes you want to use the copy function and sometimes you don't, so you have to turn it on and off. But with this one, you don't have to do anything, you just have to check this up here, clipboard monitor, and that's it, basically. Other one else we have right here is Sure from Anki for the card creation. And down here I have three web pages I use. Those are, it's just a backup, so to speak. Most of the time I don't need them, but sometimes there is the rare case where you do need them. And what we do have here is first Tangorino. Tangorino is basically a dictionary where you can look up uh, names. So if there is a name that isn't, for whatever reason, has no Furigana or isn't mentioned anywhere, and I have a card where it's on, so I can look up. A possible reading and I just pick one. Then the next one we have uh, Furigana Bunko. This one is basically if you have a word that has multiple readings and you're not too sure which one to use then you can look it up here and it gives you a percentage of how frequent a given reading for a word is. Because for, for whatever reason and I don't know why <laughs> 
in Yomi-chan, the, uh, the frequently used reading is at the bottom. So at the top you're getting the ones that are less used. And I have no idea if you can change it. I tried a few things, but it doesn't seem to work. So I just use this in case, but it's not that it's that you have to use it all the time. And the last one, also just in case, Weblio. Four, around four dictionaries in my um, Migaku dictionary add-on. And sometimes they don't have slang words or set phrases in there. And for this case, I can use Weblio. They have a lot of stuff, a lot of slang words as well explained. So I can just copy it from there. So, But I don't use it most of the time. So these websites are just a backup if there is anything. Most of the time it's just it's enough to use Yomi-chan and just the building dictionary from Migaku. Okay, so I will show you just an example if you can, so you can see it. We have the game now and you can see on top here that's the sentence that's currently on screen and if I click once it automatically switches to the next one and that's all the time. So and if I have to look something up or if I'm not sure about the reading I can just look to my second screen and if I want to look something up I can just click on it and that's it. So it makes it extremely fast. I like having it on the second screen. You, I could theoretically put it on the first screen, but I don't want to look on the readings. I, will, I want to read it first. So this is just a backup if I need to look something up. And sometimes if I want to look up, for example, pitch accent, you can look here. I have pitch accent graphs. So sometimes I just look up pitch accents because it's so extremely fast with this setup. Uh, so it almost takes no time away from me reading. Okay, so now I'll just go and try to find a sentence we can add and um, then we can stop the time and see how long it takes to, to add the card this way and then afterwards we'll go over the whole thing and I will show you important setup setups you need to make so that this all works. And I think we finally found one. This sentence is good. That's a word I don't know. So let's see. We'll go over to the second screen and I'll create a card and I'll stop the time so we can see how long it takes. I'll just remove a little bit of fluff that I don't need. This one. Take a screenshot with Share X. Put it in here. Copy this in here. Look it up. And let's see. And we'll take this one. Check this, this, and let's see if we have audio. Yes, we have audio as well. And we're done. That's basically it. Okay, so now I'll go quickly over ITH. This one is probably the simplest one because you don't have a lot to do. I just downloaded it again. So this is the zip file and I unpacked it because I already have it and I had to look for a download link first, but I found one and um, I'll put it in the description below. This one is really, really easy. So you get a folder like this, no installing to do anything. You just make a double click and this window opens. And then you click here. There are probably a lot more options, or at least here you can change things, but I never played around with them. The easiest thing, you just have to uh, press here on process. If it isn't already hooked, like it's here, but otherwise you just have to open the process here and look through where you can find yours. And this one is Muramasa Exe. And then you have to click attach. But like I said, this one, or we can detach it for a second so you can see, it takes a second. So it's gone basically and then you open process, you look for the process of the game, press attach and that it's basically it. So we can try it out. I'll put it down here for a second. First you will see nothing. This one you have to look at this drop down menu, click the next one and then it should happen exactly. And then you see, there it is. And it automatically starts updating. For some games, for whatever reason, you have multiples of those lines, so you have uh, to look through it and find the one that's the right. 
uh, right one. Sometimes there are only names in there if there's a name added to the text in a separate window or something like this. So you can just look through it and pick the one that's the right one and it automatically copies it to your clipboard. That's basically it. Nothing else to do with this one. Okay, next thing we'll go over ShareX. I already deleted all my hotkeys so I can do it together with you and show you all the settings. Once you have it installed, you can open it up, go over to hotkeys and to add one, press add on top. It automatically opens the options and for the first one, we'll go in to make the screenshot one first. You press for the task, then go down here to screen capture, over and then caption region transparent. Then down here, you click override after capture settings and from the drop down menu the bold ones are the ones that are selected and you can keep copy image to clipboard and save image to file and you just have to remove upload image to host and you can close it press here to give it a hotkey for the screenshot i have most of the time shift and one and that's basically it we can try it out shift one and we have our screenshot Okay, for the next one, this is the audio one. If you want to use it, I already said before that the audio for at least vision novels is too low most of the time, but you can use it for other stuff as well. So for audio, you can just press add again over here, open the options. For task this time, you go to screen record and start stop screen recording using active window region. Press this one, then here override after capture settings, again click, you go in here, you have to remove copy image to clipboard and you also have to remove upload image to host. Save image to file can stay and the last one you have to add copy file to clipboard. Once this is done you go down here to capture, click override capture settings. Next one go to screen recorder, on top screen recording options and for video source uh, press none, for audio source virtual audio capture. If it doesn't work, I think you can download something here. Um, <laughs> the FMPEG uh, EXA, uh, you need this one, but at least for me it was enough just to press download here once. It takes a few seconds uh, if audio recording doesn't work for whatever reason. Then down here you can change your MP3 quality, um, but I wouldn't make it too high because for cards most of the time a little bit lower should be enough. And then here audio codec you set to MP3. And for this one I had to test a little bit because most of the time it also captured the video together and I don't need it. We don't only need the audio for our cards, but it works once you press here test with CMD. It opens a window, let it run for a few seconds, close this, close this, close this, and we have to give it a shortcut as well. And for this one I use ALT1, close it, so we'll make it try an example I think I have a video yes exactly and if you press ALT and one in my case you see down here the time starts running mm. that's already it and here we have the file and we can just go over here sentence audio control V Mm. And that's the audio I just recorded. That's basically it. So, and for the last settings for today, we'll go over Yumi-chan. Uh, like I said, there are two options. Um, the one with the extra window and the one where you're doing it in the browser. Like I said, the one with the extra window, for me, it starts blinking orange in the taskbar and I find it quite annoying, so I use the other one. But I'll show you both and you can just use the one you like. Uh, at first, we'll go over the one where it gives an extra pop-up window. You just have to go over here for yomi -chan and click on Options. Scroll a little bit down and you'll see Show Advanced Options, click here. And then directly beneath it, you have Enable Native Pop-ups when copying Japanese text click here as well and then I have already opened some news article so we I can show it to you have to mark something press copy and it opens a new window and for whatever reason it doesn't blink <laughs> that's interesting 
Okay, so I learned something new. Well, let me check. I'll copy something else. It doesn't blink again. Okay, for whatever reason, it doesn't blink. So I learned something new. Um, yes, yeah, so as you can see, this is an extra window and it just updates just the same. You can use it as I did with the other one. That's the first option. And the second option is also pretty easy to get to. You go over here again, press on the magnifying glass down here and the window opens. For this one, you have to click once here, clipboard monitor. Um, I would probably still be using this even if the other one stopped blinking for whatever reason, um, just because you have to fiddle around with the uh, options all the time. And I find this one just a little bit easier. It's a few steps less, but that's basically all. You can choose whatever you like. Yeah, and that's it. That's how you can set up all this stuff that I showed you before, and I hope it helps.